Well, for more on the topic of African football federations, their governments and FIFA, we spoke to Nairobi-based sports journalist and football expert Jeff Kinyanjui earlier on, and I began by asking him if there's a speedy resolution to the Kenyan football crisis in sight. Uh, well, we now have a, a new sports uh, cabinet secretary, that is Honorable Ababu Namamba. Um, we are hoping that uh, once he's sworn in, uh, he's, it's, that is pending uh, uh, vetting by the parliament, once he's sworn in, then uh, definitely we'll have uh, this situation sorted out as soon as possible. Uh, well, this is his second time uh, being the sports uh, minister. Uh, he's so passionate about football, you know, even uh, a day or so before he was appointed the sports CS, um, you know, he had tweeted something about uh, the FIFA suspension we are, we are currently undergoing. So, yeah, once he's sworn in, we are hoping uh, the situation will be sorted out as soon as it's uh, possible. Uh, is he the man now to unlock the stalemate between the Kenyan government, the Football Association and FIFA? Yeah, like I said before, he's the man to do that. Uh, whether he will move with speed, that's a negotiation for another day. Uh, but, well, he's so passionate about uh, football. Uh, this is his second stab at the Ministry of Sports. Uh, so definitely he knows uh, what is at stake. He knows what's need to be sorted. In the next few days after he's, uh, you know, after he's sworn in and he's vetted by the parliament, if he's successful in that, we are hoping that will be his first task. Right. And, uh, Jeff, turning to Zimbabwe now, is the recent five-year ban that was served uh, to the referees chief, uh, the former referees chief, Albert Zoya, enough uh, to convince the Sports and Recreation Commission to return to the negotiating table uh, with the world governing body? Well, you know, Mr. Zoya is facing uh, sexual harassment uh, charges. Uh, you know, the, the, the entire Zifa board is also facing graft charges, uh, beginning with the, you know, you know, the former uh, president uh, that was, uh, you know, that is facing problems with the government. So, well, it's, it's a tough situation for them. I would say it's tougher than the Kenyan situation. Uh, because there's a lot of infighting in Zimbabwean football. Uh, a section of the government is uh, now siding with the, uh, the Zifa board, uh, while another one is now, uh, you know, it's not uh, pro, pro Zifa. So, well, I think that, uh, I think the Zimbabwean situation will, will take quite some time, but just like the Kenyan situation, you know, it's just a matter of the federation uh, officials and the government, you know, sitting down and sorting the issue, because at the moment they're not doing that, they're pulling in different directions. Right. And finally, Jeff, uh, both Nigeria and Ghana are two nations that have avoided uh, any confrontation with FIFA. They've, they've uh, averted FIFA suspensions in recent times. That's, of course, despite uh, issues between their FAs and FIFA. Uh, is the world governing body perhaps a bit lenient towards the big footballing nations here? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Yeah, well, I believe so. You know, uh, Kenya is not Brazil. We are football minors and we have as well as Zimbabwe, we have to accept that fact. So if, uh, if it's Nigeria and Ghana, then uh, you know, those are football powerhouses in Africa. Um, you know, they've gone to uh, a number of uh, World Cups, uh, they've won AFCON several times. So we wouldn't really compare them to Kenya or Zimbabwe. Uh, therefore, FIFA would want situation in such countries sorted as soon as possible, and they will do everything that is possible in their, in their capabilities to ensure that uh, if there's any situation with the government or any situation in football in West Africa, especially Nigeria and Ghana, that it is sorted as soon as possible. So yes, I believe that uh, you know FIFA moves with speed if it's uh, it's a big footballing nation. For instance, if it was Brazil, I'm sure uh, if it was Brazil that was in the situation that Kenya is in at the moment, I'm sure it will have already been sorted. But as it is, you know, Kenya is a football minor, and we have to accept the fact.